Hello everyone, welcome back to another video game review. So today we're going to be looking at another new game uh, from Gameville. It's called Fantasy Quest. So this isn't... Every time I see Gameville, I have always think about... I'm always thinking about um, RPG games or somewhere around that genre. And... This does look like one of them. I'm not really sure. I just downloaded it. Um, it does look like a good game. Because Gameville has been known for creating uh, good games. So we're going to launch it now. Gameville. Gameville. Alright, so updating. It's called Fantasy Quest. Um... So it looks like a bunch of Final Fantasy characters. I know it's not Final Fantasy, but it looks like it. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I think they're trying to take the Square Enix route as the mobile giant of the mobile giant uh, of RPGs on mobile devices. <laughs> I think I I didn't get that right, but yeah. Anyways, welcome, sire. You are just in time. Goblins are have invaded the local village. <clears throat> uh, goblins. So, um, there's a series of talks and things like that. Fight. Okay, this is relatively slow. I w I'm not really interested in slow stuff like that. Okay, so you can actually definitely hear some sound effects. I think one of the biggest problems with the current Final Fantasy games, they're, um, not the current ones, I think Final Fantasy 1. Okay, that was loud. So, there's too much tapping in the battles. Well, I personally want to see some of the automated things or maybe you just have to tap anywhere and then it starts attacking because you're on a mobile device right um you're not gonna tap here and then tap there like which character to attack that's one of the things i've uh found as a problem for final fantasy anyways this looks like a building game tap the green check okay that gave me a bit of problem. My fingers are small, um, not as big as other people. And it's still, I couldn't make it, basically. I couldn't tap on it. So, probably had to use my pinky. Okay, gold. So, this looks like a builder game, except it looks like Clash of Clans. Kind of. So, it is a builder type of game. It's a kingdom building... Whoa, name your kingdom. Will... I... Yeah. Okay, so... Start playing. Ah, oh, well, I didn't have a referral code anyways, so forget it. So, it looks like a bunch of Final ca Fantasy characters on the right side, as you can see. Um, that's my opinion. It's pro. It's not Final Fantasy, of course. I mean, we don't know who the characters are, but I'm just saying the design is similar. Challenge your friends. Okay, no. Okay, goals. Okay, so you do get to uh, expand, as you can see, four sides from here. Hire Archer. Let's hire someone. Okay. Increase tax income. So probably buy a farm. 
Oh, okay. Okay, so let's buy a cottage then. The uh, button, the confirm button is just really small, in my opinion. Okay, so you do get to explore a bunch of places. A little, anyways. I mean, you're gonna go attack someone. That okay. That loading time is just really slow. Um, not my cup of tea. Takes too long. I think it's pretty annoying. So the archer and I have a soldier. Let's see if I just so I. Oh, okay. The skip button doesn't do anything. So you have to tap the action and then tap on the character. I think that's pretty uh annoying in my opinion. Um, that's like. One step, two step. Imagine you have four characters. You have to type, tap at least eight times. But I still think the graphics on the game uh, reminds me of RPG, classic RPGs. So you need to use these energy, which is this thunder sign at the bottom or in the middle. At the top, you get thunder and the fire. The stamina, okay, stamina is used to raid rivals. So, there are silver coin, gems, what is this? Energy, yes, it is energy. Energy and stamina. I'm not going to go there, I'm going to go back to my kingdom. Okay, that's about it, I think. Um, I don't want to make the video too long, because you're basically doing the same thing. Building stuff, you're waiting it out, and then, that's a... And then attacking people and then <laughs> building more stuff. Um, I'd say uh, one of the really cool aspects of the game is you're able to build your own kingdoms and stuff like that. Uh, and the, But one of the biggest problems with the attack or the battles is you need to tap on the item or the thing you want to attack with. And then you have to tap on the character. I think that's like a two-step interval, which is quite annoying. Imagine you have... Four characters, you have to tap eight times to attack one, uh, whatever, one party. So that that's pretty annoying. Uh, we've seen that with Final Fantasy 1, I think. But Final Fantasy 3 was good. Final Fantasy 1, you have to tap, you had to tap on the character. Then you have to tap on selecting the, the, basically the skill. And then you have to tap on the ki uh, the enemy. So that was a three-step interval. This is a two-step interval. Um, you know, it's the same thing. The more steps there are, the more annoying it is. But I still think the game is pretty good. Um, I'm an RPG kind of person. And I'm in, like, I like building games. So I think this game is, you know, it deserves a four out of five again. Um, I'm not going to give it too high because a five out of five game must be perfect, I mean, but I'm just gonna say it's a four f out of five game because there are definitely um some Im cool stuff that are going on. I mean, if you love RPG games or like JRP JRPG games or somewhere around the Asian market where the designs are like that, basically, um, it does look like an RPG game. That's what I'm trying to say, but I'm not saying it's a Western RPG game because Western RPG games tend to look a bit different. Western RPG games are like, uh, I don't know, they're mostly shooters. Anyways, um, the graphics in here definitely look RPG or JRPG or somewhere around Asian RPG, whatever you like to call it. I'm just going to say it's worth, uh, definitely a game you want to pick up. Four out of five stars if you like this type of game. If you don't like this type of game, then, you know, it's a basically it's a time time type of game. You're gonna have to wait a lot. Anyways, that's about it. Uh hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video. Wow. So I didn't do anything. It just pop oh, that thing finished expanding. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Uh thank you for watching the the review.